Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome back to the Metro Exodus. We left off back on our train here. Gonna be doing all the things you can do on the train. Um, it's actually quite a few, but first we're gonna check the radio. that one was about dead frequency okay it's music attention attention this is the special restoration committee speaking from the arc project base everyone who can hear me everyone still loyal to the cause proceed to the rally point rally point location is code one eight one one dash seven nine area one eight dash five i repeat proceed to the rally point rally point location i already open. knew that one why are you guys kissing munchakos out so much all this advance has even arrived in your kutsk not even two years you better reconsider your position on meshnikov did you forget who started trading with the convicts from zolotoy huh well, that was Zakhar's idea, and Zakhar is the man. He crossed my call. Alone. He would sign up to anything he proposes at once. Well, Menchikov, I couldn't care less about. Aren't you getting big in your head? You're so cool now that the relay gang is off your case? Don't fall off that high horse. Go to hell, Dan. <laughs> All right. I can live with listening to Menchikov if you're so fond of him. Ah, enough of that shit already. The important part is that your coot is still around, and you guys are too. You're right. That is the important part. Well, give my regards to Menshikov. <laughs> Over and out. You devil. <laughs> Over and out. I don't know any of those people. That was an interesting little conversation there that really had nothing to do with me whatsoever, but they put on the radio. There is such a crazy amount of voiceover in this game. So that's just going to be a random radio station. Another one. It's a little more upbeat and jammy. Hopefully none of this crap is copyrighted. That would really be annoying. Coming out a little. I'm okay leaving it on this. The diary should be all the stuff that they read at the load screen, so we've already heard it all. Crew. There's so much of it. Don't feel like reading it. New world. We should have the fanatics as a faction. Creatures. Binoculars. Night vision. So nothing particularly important there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm big reading that all right now. But in case you're wondering, there's tons of lore in this game. We've been on the road for. I've been listening to the radio too. Yeah, why wouldn't we? There is not a single transmission about any occupying force. Oh, not at all. There's so much regular chatter, so many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but it might. Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember, neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like the Middle Ages. That 
Excellentius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. So much dialogue. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other. And nobody even thought you could live outside. Uh, yep, we know. I mean, so who would the occupying force be? NATO? Americans? So go check it out. It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Yeah, it's really nice. I must say. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. One of the resources you gather is to maintain the reward support and the crew. Don't forget to prepare for the next stop, checking your remaining equipment. So Let's see how it is. Collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I yeah. haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Um, we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Yeah, I do now. Carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's Thanks. It. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The colonel summoned you. Well, You're always I have my stuff time. to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. <laughs> it happens when you're out there getting shot at and Uncle fighting things. Uncle Uncle <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Dokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Thread and needle? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I don't know what sail sure stitch is either. I got work to do. Oh, uh, smoke break! That's good. I'll light one up with you, why not? <laughs> Open this newspaper. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. If you smoke off, I'll fucking smoke you <laughs> off in a month, but let's do this. Well, you are the right kind of guys. You, yeah. the Colonel, Duke, that guy did the Don't need my lungs. Lungs are overrated. <laughs> and now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child. Really? No, a child. But he's good. Yes, he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? Thank you. How will you do? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Very nice. Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hey, them. Mutants everywhere. No, you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? You know, to return to the old oh, ways, law and order. Be interesting to take a look, but. Throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. <laughs> Dead, Dead ones and ones gang leaders. And gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. That's <laughs> true. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? 
I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you. That means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Good. Well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Okay. Take or one more drag. Stay. We have enough space now. True, we do. Something on the floor. Let's screw keeping this place Will nice and neat. Sam's rifle strap? Real short thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so to say, please don't let a kid fix all the gear that we're gonna need to survive on, but if you're over supervising and stuff, go for it, man. More power to you. Got two Artyom, guitars. What is come this? In, have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Sure, why not? I had to get you a fucking one of these and you already had one. Apparently I know how to play the guitar. Current wife would love it if I knew how to play the acoustic guitar. She's all for that stuff. I'm not good at it. Someday, maybe I'll learn it in spare time. Surprise her with it, but I don't know. Heard some tricks about it. All these little things. It's like, why waste the time with development stuff? The crying. They just immerse you so much, like, you get so connected to all these people. You know, it's just a video game, but, like... Like, without any of this, if these people started to die, I would be a little sad. And, like, that sucks, but, like, all this little stuff and getting to know them and their personalities and feel them as human connections, it's, like... When these guys all die, which I'm pretty sure they're going to, I want to be really sad. Thank you, Stefan. I don't get a thank you. Fine, I see how it is. Pull my I'm fucking guitar down. I'm walking out of here. You, but not just father. He's dead, isn't he? Doesn't yeah. He, know? he is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Seeing he used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. Long story, incoming. Quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bomb to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on that top sucks. of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. 
Ksenia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there, because Silentius at the Skatina had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Ksenia went to stop them, but it was too late. He only found burnt rags. He never found these demons. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I mean, you did know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing. I already played with you, so I'm moving on. Good job, guys. <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> hey, Artyom, so, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Talker, it was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with, with it. it. Well. There I am, sitting on a beam, mm -hmm. looking at our tomb, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it! <laughs> our tomb did most of the work! It's true. <laughs> that you did, uh, yeah, you did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the waste yourselves. Alright, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? Oh, how should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about size something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's the voice actor that does Cowboy Bebop. That's that guy right there, I'm pretty damn sure. Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself! Well, he basically solved the whole problem. Yeah, of course I did. That's True what that. I do. Good job, Artyom. Thanks up, everybody. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. You all came out on top of the game. A would kill the trailers to do it. What? A trick. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. He's still the guy from Cowboy sure Bebop, thing. but it throws me for Anyways, a loop. We will just have a little as a warm up now. Aha! You guys all done? Can't be it for this room. It's got to be like 13 more minutes. Yeah. Great. Cooking over there, buddy. Some good stuff. Awfully decent, actually. Uh, hey guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What does everyone expect of this trip? Personally, I want to come back and tell Sveta of my adventures so that she'd look at me with her huge gray eyes without blinking and keep saying, you're such a hero, darling. <laughs> so you're expecting heroics and scars. That works. It can. And why did you come? Well, my heart is aching for true romance. 
But in the metro, all women want a solid relationship, a reliable husband, a real provider. <laughs> Enough of that smug smile. Just bring it's unbearable. The romance into that? Not that That's I fine. Had much better luck here so far. As soon as Katia came aboard, Stepan started cooling not around look that her great. like a peacock. <laughs> you should be happy. Katya is a tough girl. You'd be under her thumb in no time. True. <laughs> that is unlikely. I'm not the kind of man to upstage his friend in the contest for a lady. Especially when that friend promises to break my arm. <laughs> yep. Definitely a lot bigger than you. You done? Like we're done here. Nope. I'll catch my stroke of luck soon enough. There in Yamantha, women from all over the country have already gathered, waiting for yours truly. <laughs> uh, get your too far up, buddy. What made you go? Well, uh, at first I just went along with you guys, uh, the Colonel, but even then I thought, this is my chance to make my dream come true. A chance to see Kazakhstan, my people. But first, we must come back to Moscow, because it isn't fair. People must know that they've put up with enough. They are free. They can live outside now. What do you think about that, idiot? I'm with you, Demir. Yet, freedom is not so simple. There was this freedom fighter, Che Guevara. He died under 40. Comrade Mao, whose book you've been perusing on the other hand, was a strict ruler but lived a long life. Well, we should have expected that from you. <laughs> Weird thing, though, is that you are called idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's by his own choice. Because he's so fond of Chekhov. <laughs> Chekhov, too, of course. But it's Dostoevsky for the most part, Sam, my friend. <laughs> sure. I read the book, too. It's just that I mix them up a lot. Chekhov wrote about that son of Austerlitz. A wounded officer. Powerful imagery. <laughs> you are just killing me. <laughs> How about you, Uncle Sam? Got dreams? You know, Who doesn't? I just want to ride my board again. Spark a joint up on a beach. <laughs> Catch that wave. Deep inside, under a grizzled metro dweller, there's still a relaxed Californian inside me. Ah, get out of here! <laughs> so you know, before Dad talked me into joining the Corps, I used to wear my hair long. He I told can me believe to make a decent citizen out of the total disappointment that I was, and sent me to college once I was discharged. I joined, and they sent me to the Middle East. Ouch. Wow, so do you hope you guys would pick you up? I don't see them around. Yeah, I don't hold my breath for my guys. Once this mission's over, I'll submit my discharge papers. I'll reach the ocean, and there, find a ship, maybe? Oh, yeah. home? Just imagine it. You arrive on that ship, and they go like, Ah, the Russians are coming! <laughs> <laughs> you are one of us now. You don't really need to go anywhere. I just want to see home. They will sink you on sight. I won't. Though I will take my balalaika with me. Balalaika. Well, who has any expectations for our reception at Yamanta? Well, your expectations, Elyosha, are quite obvious, huh? Scantily clad junior officer ladies on the rolling the red carpet. Yeah, I'm a simple guy. How about you guys? Well, uh, I hope they will answer a few questions. For example, if there is not a single American within hundreds of miles from Moscow, save for our friend Samuel here, why stay underground? I can answer that one. I'd put it a bit differently. Did you, dearest high command gentlemen, know that we in Moscow had to spend 20 years underground? Huh, by all means, you can ask those while I'm enjoying my briefing with the junior officer ladies, huh? <laughs> I 
don't know. I'm in the mood for a road trip. Oh, we got ourselves a true traveler here. Yeah. We will have to live and see. You are right. We good now? Force your way through me. Yes, we are. Okay, everyone, we're out of time for this episode. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by. A whole lot of dialogue in this game. I'm loving it personally. I know it's a little bit on the super down mellow side and kind of like eh. But either way, it's just part of the game, and we're gonna get through it all and then get back to the pew pews and all the shooting shooting. So do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, um, hit the bell notification, and watch all the content front to back. So it's the number one thing you can do to help a YouTuber you enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dick out.